Hello, welcome to Nicolet TV. I'm Chinwe. Thank you so much if this is not your first time on my channel. It's really good to always have you here. But if this is your first time on my channel, hi, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like what you see and when you do, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification because I have something new every single week. This video is the fifth episode of my series. It's a project I developed to discuss topics that are very close to my heart and has contributed so much to who I am today. In the previous episode, I discussed emotion. You can check it out if you want. There's no precedence though, so you can jump right into this one, but I think you should check it out because it's very cool. <laughs> so diving straight in, let's talk about spirits. <laughs> I consider spirits anything I'm aware of but can't physically perceive and in all my years on planet earth the one thing I've been unable to see, hear, taste, touch or smell is idea. Whether it's an idea about something that has never been like the food I'm thinking of cooking tomorrow or something that used to be like my dead grandmother, they are all spirit to me. Now. Since spirits can't be physically perceived, it means one thing, there's no point trying to physically perceive it. So just leave it where it is in the spirit world. Also, since it's something I'm aware of, meaning that I have an opinion about it, I like to sort it out with a sense that transcends the physical, which is my emotions. Just the way you'll be watching a movie and all of a sudden you close your eyes to prevent yourself from seeing something horrific. The same way I use my emotions to guide me around thoughts and ideas and spirits that I'm aware of. So as I'm thinking, if it feels good, I throw it in a useful pile. But if it doesn't feel good, I do myself a favor and either adjust my perspective about it or I drop it completely. Taking it further, I've also come to realize that spirits or ideas can be. That is, they could eventually materialize into something I can perceive with my physical senses. So it got me thinking, if this food I just thought of yesterday is in front of me right now, it means that everything that I can perceive with my physical senses was once a spirit or an idea. Let me give you a very good illustration. Have you ever been in a very dark room, like pitch black? If you have, you notice that there's no difference between what you see when your eyes are closed and when they are open. In that room, it's all the same thing. Now, if it's a room you are not familiar with, your instinct will be to stand still until light comes because you know that just because you can't see anything does not mean that you're alone. And if it's a room you are familiar with, you can easily trace your steps to a chair or feel for the switch on a wall or something because you also understand that just because you can't see it does not mean that it stopped being there. That's how I view spirits. I think spirits can be compared to darkness. Just because I can't see my dead grandmother doesn't mean that she's no longer around. It only means that she's on the other side of reality that my physical senses cannot interpret. That's all I have for you in this video. I hope you found it insightful and useful. Feel free to share with your family and friends. Like and subscribe to my channel. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you get updates when I upload my next video. I'll be discussing love, so stay tuned. I love you so much for watching and until next time, stay wilding and thriving.